Welcome again to SEC Women's Sports Weekly on the SEC Digital Network. I'm Sony Thompson. Sony Thompson is here with us tonight. Oh yeah, I'm so happy to be here and present this to you guys tonight. Is football what truly keeps you motivated from day to day or is coaching a job for you? Good afternoon, I'm Sony Thompson with TV Baseball 31 and we're out here at Pierce College on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And also don't forget that GSA is offering training classes this afternoon. Because basically if you couldn't throw a fourth pass, what were you gonna do? Run. So number one, I love this because it's a total body conditioning system. So long for now and we will see you again. Welcome again to SEC Women's Sports Weekly on the SEC Digital Network. I'm Sony Thompson. The conference races are heating up, so let's just get right into the action. It's time for SEC Women's Sports Weekly on the SEC Digital Network. I'm Sony Thompson. We have postseason action in soccer and cross country, while volleyball is coming down the home stretch. It's time for SEC Women's Sports Weekly on the SEC Digital Network. I'm your host, Sony Thompson. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And now it's time to work off all that turkey and get back to the action. Welcome again to SEC Women's Sports Weekly on the SEC Digital Network. I'm Sony Thompson. The SEC sent six teams to postseason play in volleyball. But on Friday night in the opening round, it was a tough night for the conference teams. And congratulations to the Lady Gators swimming team for finishing second in the Big Al Open in Princeton, New Jersey. And we want to thank you for watching SEC Women's Sports Weekly. Stay connected for more news, highlights, and features from around the conference here on the SEC Digital Network and SEC Mobile. We've talked about the fact that you're an incredible recruiter. Uh, you have an eye for talent. Uh, obviously, uh, Florida State is on the precipice of something great in the 2011 season. Let's talk fried chicken. Yeah, let's talk fried chicken. Chick-fil-A Bowl. Big victory over SEC East champs, uh, South Carolina Gamecocks, 26-17. Not bad at first glance for me at the uh, press box stats. Uh, South Carolina actually dominated in total offensive yards, yet Florida State ends up nickel and diming their way through a rushing victory, running rock. And I think a lot of times, too, that uh, they don't understand some of the ramifications of being on the field, that one hit, regardless of how good you are mm -hmm. uh, as a, uh, an athlete performing on the field, one hit could, could change everything right. and, and then everything's not based on what's going on on the field and, and you know it's it's a tragic way of looking at things but it's a reality it is reality uh injury on, is, on the field it, it, it happens all the time frederick douglas fritz pollard yes 1920 brown university 1920 in the 20s a four pass was illegal within five yards behind the line of scrimmage mm -hmm. what does that mean you had a new era quarterback come Correct. along because basically if you couldn't throw a fourth pass, what were you going to do? Run. Exactly. Watching Michael Vick, mm -hmm. watching uh, Donovan McNabb, watching Vince Young, they must have watched some old tape uh, of their mentor, people they would wish to be their mentors like Pollard mm -hmm. and saw them make those moves out of the pocket yep. when there was no time to throw. Yep. And you know, a lot of times they get criticized for that by the media, that that's all they know how to do is run. What do you think about uh, the effect that that rule back in the 20s had on today? Well, you know, you know what? It's um, it's kind of remarkable that you make that uh, that statement. But good afternoon. I'm Sony Thompson with TV Baseball 31, and we're out here at Pierce College on a beautiful Saturday afternoon with Coach Bob Lafrano. Welcome, Coach. Hi, Sony. Nice to you have you here today. More opportunities are, uh, abound here, I'm sure. They may get maybe 200 bats as opposed to um, 
10 or 15 at another school. Exactly. Speaking specifically about the intricacies of, of the team and how the machine rolls, we were talking, we're both second basemen here. Go. I know you were right. a second baseman right. uh, for the Brahmas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the outfielders uh, tend to sometimes when the infield machine is running, they get a little lackadaisical out there. How do you keep your outfield motivated? In soccer, here come the Lady Balls. Nice ball up the middle by Kylie Bono. Right to Caroline Brown, who with a quick kick, finds the back of the goal. Now it's 2-1 Tennessee. The Lady Balls tacked on another goal in the second half and go on to win 3-1. The regular season has come to a close in volleyball. So let's check out the final standings. Florida finished the conference schedule undefeated, 20-0. So congratulations to the Lady Gators. Tennessee was second in the East. In the West, LSU finished on top. Ole Miss hung on to finish second, ahead of Auburn. In basketball action, the Gamecocks jumped out to a 19-12 halftime lead. Then, Ashley Bruner scored 15 of her game-high 18 points in the second half, and South Carolina wins 52-33. In the process, head coach Don Staley won her 200th career game. And Sony Thompson is here with us tonight. I love this girl. She is a certified per, a fitness trainer. Happy New Year! You received your first degree black belt. You trained. I with, did with uh, Billy Bla um, Master Billy Master Blanks. Master Billy Blanks. Yes, the fitness guru. Exactly. <laughs> it is truly a pleasure to have you with us, especially Thank you. with this total body conditioning machine. Oh yeah, I'm so happy to be here and present this to you guys tonight because what's great about this? Num there's three things, top things that I love about this. Number one, I love the Gold's Gym name because because we all grew up knowing about that Gold's Gym name means quality, it means durability, it means strength, it means knowledge, and all of that is built into this PowerFlex system. The reason you get the beautiful elongated muscles is because we're talking about the power stroke resistance bands that sit inside this machine. And what they do is they elongate and contract themselves, and that's going to naturally simulate, uh, excuse me, it's going to simulate the natural movement of your muscles. So if it's simulating the natural movement of your muscles, is it not fortifying and building those muscles and tightening them?